Okay, so step one of Project Revolt is going to be to jumpstart the car so that I can roll up the window and open the trunk and get some stuff out of it. Out of the well, yeah. One point four volts. Oh, one point four. Oh, we got power. How do you see that? Because I heard the car bong. Oh, you did? Yep. We'll see. Yep. Okay. Step two is going to be to unpack uh, basically all the junk that's inside of it. Now. Let's get things out of this one and work on this one. Okay, let me disconnect it. See if we can open the door. Pull it out. <laughs> no. Step three will be to jack the car up. I might need to move the van again, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so the compressor is full of air, and now it's time to jack up the car. Okay, the car is up on jacks. Step four will be to uh, pull off the axle, or what's left of the axle. Now, I'm gonna, now it's time to pull off this wheel. Okay, so I've run into a bit of a small roadblock, and th that's this right here. Actually, I'm just gonna record this away from the compressor. Now, the big issue on that Chevy Volt is the lock nut. It's meant to prevent your wheels from getting stolen, but in my particular case, uh, my mom's lost the key to open the lock nut. Making it a little bit harder to actually get your hands on it and get it off. So, the solution is this. It is an emergency lug remover, and basically what it is, is it's, it's nothing more than a socket, but rather than having a hex key in it, it has a, a screw design cut into it. So what you do is you put this on your impact, you have your impact go in, it cuts into the lug, then you pull it out. I'm hoping this works, otherwise it's going to get a lot more complicated to pull off this lug nut. This is only 12 bucks, so I hope it does the job. So here we go. 20 minutes later. The emergency lug removal tool didn't really work too well. Kinda want my 12 bucks back. But we have to proceed anyway. So the new plan is to drop the axle with the wheel still on it. That does make it a little bit more complicated and I just want to show what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to be showing you on this axle that's already removed from the car just to make it simpler. Now the main thing we want to do on the Volt is to remove the brake line, the emergency brake cable and this ABS sensor right there ABS sensor emergency brake cable and the brake line we're going to remove those three things first we we'll start off by taking off this bolt right here and then using a Torx bit to take off this one right here and then after that we're going to take the inner fender liner off or move it out of the way get these two bolts on either side which is what holds it on then we remove the one center bolt in there so overall it's going to be a little difficult working in these tight clearances but I think we can do it Pulling off these last two bolts. Oh, you got it? Yeah. They're not tight, up with it. No, nothing's tight. And you want the jack underneath? Nah, we can drag it once it comes out. It's done everything. Almost. It's out. 
Okay, so at this point, I'm actually on the last bolt to remove this rear axle, and I actually got a little stuck on it. You can see right there that bolt that's almost, uh, it's about halfway backed out. Uh, I got it almost about halfway backed out. But then the issue became the fact that I didn't have enough clearance. So I was using this socket with this wrench, and I didn't have enough clearance to do the proper throws. So, so I discovered that if you open up this fender liner right here, you can see the bolt right there. Clear as day. Right there. It's that bolt right there. So I went and got an extension. The problem is that this extension was not long enough. Right? So, I went and got another extension. <laughs> I can't believe we had this in the garage. Like this is like a six inch extension versus like a, I don't know, maybe like a two foot extension. Goes to show you, there's always gonna be the right tool for the job. You just gotta find it. Okay, here's that last bolt. All I really need to do, to do is to pull out the axle is to get a big, flat blade screwdriver and to uh, prime on that bushing. The problem is to do that, I'm going to have to move the axle somewhere, even if, even when I do get it out. And right now I just don't have the driveway space or anywhere to actually put the axle until I, you know, get ready to put the old one in. Okay, so the axle's out, the wheel's sitting on the floor. I put something on the other side to, I put it, the axle that's sitting on the tire on the other side. So this doesn't look like it's broken as much. Last thing I need is that neighbor complaining again. So, there we go. Axle's out, pried out of its little holding thing. The nuts and bolts are out. And uh, tomorrow or next week, I'm gonna pull it from underneath the, the car and put the new axle in it and put this wheel back on. Actually, I should probably put the axle in the van so I can take it to Discount Tower or something and have them pull off this lock nut. Anyway guys, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more videos like this, which there will be quite a bit more because there's a lot more work to do on this Volt, uh, hit subscribe. Keep doing whatever you do on the internet.